everyone hope everyone's doing well i'm at my gold coast office today i'll just see if i can show a bit of the view it's a really lovely view of the river okay so today i'm going to talk to you about why narcissists can only change for a short time so what often happens is that we actually believe that the narcissist is going to change for the better and we know about the honeymoon change uh, the honeymoon stage and that's when they will bombard you and they'll be so so attentive and it's all about you but as we also know it only lasts for a short time so if there has been a discard and a breakup what the narcissist will do during this time and some for some of them the very arrogant ones the ones who are very stubborn they may take a long time to come around but just say if you haven't contacted them and they really want you back what they'll do is that they'll start to read possibly about uh what communication looks like if you've said to them that managing conflict is a very important part of a relationship they might look at how do you manage conflict they will understand that it's very important for them to be very attentive so now when you get back with them have they changed you're going to start to see signs that they have possibly the trouble we have is that it's conscious meaning that they are having to really think about it they're having to make a very big effort to think about it. So you'll see them, they're on their best behavior, they're on their best behavior. Now, the trouble we've got, they haven't done the subconscious work. Can they do the subconscious work? I'm not sure, because with that lack of um, consistency, with that lack of constants, you know, permanent, with, with the lack of them seeing you, in a constant way as being permanent in their life, but they become slighted every time you say or do the wrong thing, then chances are their subconscious, their instinct, which for them is discard or hurt you, get you back because they feel slighted, is going to kick in. To change takes an incredible amount of effort. It's about aligning subconscious and conscious mind. And this is the trouble we have when people believe that the narcissist has changed and they actually believe that the narcissist is going to change and do things that are going to help the relationship. They may do that, but sometimes it's usually for a short time and then before you know it, the tears are back, separation's back, they're running around, all of their shenanigans. You keep chasing them then, trying to get them to do the right thing. Be careful to, about just believing that people are going to have this transformation and then all of a the sudden it's going to be an epiphany and wow we've changed even when we have breakthroughs meaning that we have found some really serious uh you know blocks we found some trauma bonds we've really gone deep even then change takes time things don't just happen in an instant that's why couple therapy is an important part of this because it, it takes people, you know, each week that they sit down, they listen to each other and then they incorporate the change. So just believing that the narcissist is going to change just like that, you really think again, you know, are they, what interventions are you going to put in place? So narcissists often do change, but if it's only a conscious reason that they're changing and they're only changing because they want to get you back so that then we can go back to life as nightmare as ever think again people have to change because they want to change they want to change yes they want to change because they realize that the way that they've been behaving isn't uh, complementary to the other person to the relationship to whatever that takes a lot and usually when people are all ego meaning all personality and they identify with their personality as being stubborn as uh, you know they can seek revenge on you if you say or do the wrong thing they can push you away pull you back they'll go and start talking to another woman another man if um if they feel slighted by you or if they just want to have a you know a bit of fun and say you think you're that great well guess what i'm talking to someone else uh-huh and you don't know because that's right You've been duped into thinking that I'm loyal to you. So there's a few reasons why narcissists only change for a short time. Too often we end up undoing all that very good work. We've stayed away. We've gone on with our lives. Maybe we've even met someone nice, but possibly there isn't that pull, you know, that 
sort of chemistry that's as strong. So we don't think, you know, it's right for us. And so we go back to what feels exciting. But often what feels exciting could actually be anxiety. That's all for now. Take lots of care. And I'll talk to you again next time.